Now, on the flash fire side, we have a standard called NFPA 2112. NFPA 2112 is the standard performance specification for flame resistant garments for protection of industrial personnel against flash fire. At least I can get that one out in one breath. Like ASTM F1506, this standard specifies the minimum performance requirements for flame resistant fabrics and components. It also outlines design requirements for garments. So it addresses both the fabric individually and the garment as a whole. Some folks may only look to see that a fabric is certified to NFPA 2112, but there are advantages to having a garment certified as well. Not that many manufacturers go to all the work to certify their garments to NFPA 2112, but I bet you can guess one who does. Might they be a sponsor of this video? But I digress. The fabric tests in this standard include the vertical flame test as well, but it's a little different. Fabrics need to be tested new and then again after 100 industrial launderings. This is actually more washings than ASTM F1506, which specifies 25 home launderings. The maximum char length allowed to pass the test is 4 inches, and the maximum after flame is 2 seconds. There are additional tests in 2112. They include the ASTM F1930, more commonly referred to as the mannequin test. This test estimates the potential body burn injury in a given garment when exposed to a simulated flash fire. We'll be talking about this more in depth later on. There is the Thermal Protective Performance, or TPP test, which helps measure the fabric's ability to block convective and radiant heat energy. It also lists the oven test which is used to measure thermal shrinkage, as well as ensure that garment components like reflective striping or zippers and buttons don't melt or drip.